puppy. Mm. You know that in Sweden there are many, many wolves? Like what? Wolves. <laughs> but wolf like wolf? That's what you mean? Yeah, wolf. No, and it's, it's raining. So they will not go out. We are here protected. What do you mean? The wolves don't go out in rain? I don't know, <laughs> Diego. Let me enjoy the rain. Okay. Papi. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Even Mali is complaining. What you want? Do you know that at some point it will stop raining? Yes, and you can go out and play. That's what you want? No. They are 400 wolves in Sweden. What? They are 400 wolves in Sweden. 400? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, but it's okay. But all they are in the forest, like us. It's okay, city boy. I was skeptical to believe my son Diego at first. But it seems he did his investigation right, and the wolf population in Sweden is between 400, according to some sources, and 650. Let's say 700. If you are someone like my son Diego, planning a trip to Sweden and you are afraid to wolf, think about this. Sweden is the third largest country of the European Union. 70% of that land is forest. The total population is just over 10 million. That makes around 25 person per square kilometer. We have been here, right next to this lake. And we haven't met anyone in four days. Not a single person out of those 10 million. Imagine then, what are our probabilities to meet just one wolf out of 700? I know that people don't pay that much attention to probabilities and that's why they play lotteries. <laughs> Anyhow. I think I have better chances of catching one fish in this lake with a self-made stick and a cord or probably getting a bunny at 50 or 60 meters with my bow. I was doing a toy for Diego. He's from the Legion generation and for him the concept of playing and fun is mostly associated with a virtual world in a computer and a game console. Certainly he don't think you can have any fun while peacefully and quietly waiting for a fish to bite the hook. I sent him to try to find worms or anything he can use as a bait. He returned empty-handed, as he never saw anyone before looking for worms. He's a kid from Madrid. And especially, I'm not allowing him to ask Google what to do.
My plan is to be away from the camp for a couple of hours. Maybe to have him in the lake alone is not a good idea. But fortunately, there are more things he can do. I am of the opinion that the only duty to a father in regard with his kids is to teach them the right set of skills and tools that will allow them to have a good life, ideally a happy life. I know that's much of a simplification, but that's maybe because I didn't have anyone by my side to teach me. And to learn life things with try and error is hard. <laughs> Just show them the way, at the end they will find their own methods. Living in Europe, it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to learn bushcraft. <laughs> Let the prices of the gas and oil continue raising and we might start thinking otherwise. I want to say, I was looking forward to have my trip to travel again with my little monster together. And I thought I was romanticizing those father-son moments where we were talking together and doing stuff but it was it was exhausting all the time he's when we are going to eat what do we have for eating today i still here yeah exactly but i want to film in front of you for you to see but now now i found out something really good I can chill and relax while he's... Now you know what it, what it takes to cut wood, right? Very good. Very good. You're getting stronger. Woke up. And do something. Yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to try to see if we get something, if we get some meat for today. Um, I'm tired of that much salad. Let's go for it. One day, one day you will get your own. Show it to me, to the camera. Nice. You know how long it took? No. It took me 
one hour and a half to get back Malay. Maravilla, so nice when the wood is dry. Nice. Nice. But so noisy. Remember, don't do this at home. <laughs> but this is very noisy, no? Yeah, a little bit. The adventures of the wood. Now Papito don't have something to start the fire. The adventures, my friend. Tomaten, Tomaten, ja gut. Put before new blau, new blau. I put before, and now oil with whatever it was. And now this is ready. All right. And now all you have to do is give to the bunny a nice massage, a very nice massage. With this thing that you have created. Place it everywhere. You no, know, it's raining. Damn it! But I think the idea is clear. Just a nice massage. A nice massage. Make him happy. Treat him with love. As a beautiful animal. La la la. That you will enjoy. It. I'm so happy. It's do this with um, the piece of wood that you will likely uh, find. If it's too late to find a decent piece of wood, then you can always use Ooh, you, 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 that was close. So, this leather nut is sharp. <laughs> this leather nut is shit. Or oh, I'm very strong, too. So I might not be <laughs> the best. Uh, how you say, the guy who. To put the, the animals on the stick to then do it. Yeah, probably not the best. But I think creativity wise, you have to recognize that I have a point. Um, yeah, the stove is smaller than my bunny. But. There's my dog getting nervous because all what is going on in the forest. Now all I have to do is sit here and turn it until it's done. Having a beer. Not bad. Hey, not bad. I had no time to do a proper preparation, but it will work out. Feeling that is too much fire 